Elaine and Lightning at TapLightUnlimited.com. Today my video blog is going to be about why do we want to heal perception. In A Course in Miracles, today we're going to discuss Lesson 43, which is God is my source. I cannot see apart from Him. And since perception is not an attribute of God, this is why with the tapping that I do, I clear the perception or allow it to be undone and healed because our perceptions will always deceive us until we're willing to see them through God's perspe perspective. So today I went to see my granddaughter's volleyball game and I was sitting up in the bleachers with my daughters and there were two times that the ball was called by the line judge out of bounds when from our perspective, well I'll just speak of mine, but us, the three of us saw it the same which is interesting, but I could see that from my perspective it was in. And I would have sworn on a stack of Bibles that it was in. And yet I also knew that it was the perception that I had. I was up higher, I was at the other end of the court, and the line judge was right there. And I also noticed that there was a part of me that wanted to be right about it. And that same part of me that wanted to be right also wanted to be indignant about being right. And I just noticed it. I didn't allow it to take over how I felt because I knew it would create a downward spiral of frustration. And then just continue to create more situations that would frustrate me. So, but I did notice it. I also was very aware that there was nothing right or wrong about my perception, but I noticed that I wanted to be right. And this is, this is what the ego will always do, or the human side of you, or the side of you that you believe is sinful, or evil, or however you want to word it. I tend to go with the word ego because that's how the Course in Miracles calls it. And then we have our higher self mind, which is in direct connection with God. I like to use God. It's fine if you want to use other terms. The idea here is, is to recognize that we're not alone and that we have the ability to see things without all of the fear driving it. And we don't have to see ourselves as separate bodies running around. That is what creates so much division is because we do have a tendency to see everything as separate. Everyone is separate. Everyone is a body. And it may seem like a big thing to say that I could come to the point where I have the vision to see that we're not separate bodies. It may seem like a big, tall order or impossible to you. I can, I can feel deep down, I can feel this part of me that's saying, well, that's not really possible. But there's another part of me that believes that it is or we wouldn't be told that it's possible. And it, it's tapping into our truth whenever we recognize that we are one and not separate bodies. So the ego will want to keep us in a separate mind and everything fragmented and a fragmented world. And that keeps us lost feeling, keeps us feeling alone and separate and creates, frankly, the issues in the world. And so if we want to find real peace in our self and in our lives and in our world around us, it comes from us recognizing where we're creating the fear in our own mind by the, by the choices we're making and by the limiting beliefs that we have. So um, I went to Bali recently and in that trip I had two different guides in our group that went with us and I got well, well acquainted with them. And these two men were very much in an evolved state of an enlightened state of, of being. There was just no doubt about it. And their presence just was love. Um, no judgment. Now as a country and as a whole, I felt that everywhere I went. Um, there again, that was my perception. I'm not saying that's how everybody would feel. I'm just telling you how what I sensed. And at one point in my trip, I asked our guy, Hari, I said, Hari, are you able to see everybody as the same? He said, yes. I said, you see that oneness among everyone. Yes. And it was just 
unequivocal. He could say that. And it was, it, it was very beautiful. And I had just expressed to him, that's my desire, right? And so, like, on my angel card that I drew right before I created a couple of videos for my forgiveness product, is be honest with yourself. And if you get really honest, then you can... Then by being honest and addressing the part of us that is bought into untruth, then we can ask for the angels to help us focus on our true desires so that everything can come true for us. We're meant to have everything, okay? And so I created a couple of videos. One of them was on worthiness. Not feeling worthy to receive forgiveness. And also our blocks in communication. Like fear of asking for help is one example. So, um, very powerful videos. I had some amazing experiences just creating the videos. And um, so, that's what I wanted to share with you today, is why we're healing perception. Because perception will deceive us, unless we're able to see it through the eyes of God. So, I cannot see apart from Him, and that's because we're not apart from Him. That's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.